Hey everybody. So um, I with this video, there's gonna be a little uh, sheet to go along with it. So that's the uh, how to read sheet music on guitar. There's the little two-page PDF that's gonna be in the same thing as these two videos. Um, but I'm just gonna kind of walk through and show you how to play these. So on your diagram, they show you a lot of information. I will go more in depth once everybody is back. But use this to kind of help decipher how to read things for now. So in the sheet music world, if you look at your diagram, we have a bunch of stuff below, on, and above the staff. Now, all the stuff above the staff is going to be all the higher notes. And then everything below the staff is mostly going to be on these two strings, your low E and low A. Um, once you get to D, this open D, that is the first note right underneath the staff. Not on the bottom line, but right below it. That's that D. And we're going to focus mostly in this range. You're not going to read really low for a while. So that's our first space below. Now the line, the very bottom line of the staff is going to be E, which we play with second fret on the D string. And then F, which is that first space on the treble clef. G, which is our open G. That's that second line. A, second fret, is the second space on the treble clef. B, our open B, is the very middle line. If you, if you get lost in anything else, that very middle line is your open B. The fourth space above that, or sorry, third space, the third space above that is first fret C. The fourth line is third fret D. And then this E is that very top space. Your open E is that very top space on those four spaces and five lines. F first fret is your very top line, the note going right through the top line. And then G, third fret G, is the note right on top of the staff. Now those notes are gonna be where most of your assignments are gonna be on. There's a couple that go below that. Ignore those ones for right now. I don't want to focus on that too much until we get in class. So I'm going to go over that again. So open D, second fret E, third fret F, open G, second fret A, open B, first fret C, third fret D, open E, first fret F, and third fret G. Now, I know on your assignment, there is one note that goes below the staff, and it's the first line. Um, just go ahead. I'm going to give you the answer to it right now. It's third fret C on the A string. That's that C, and then B, A, G, F, E. But don't worry about the bottom two strings right now. If there are some blanks on your assignments, that's fine. Um, but for your assignment, they're asking you, they're giving you a note on the staff and then telling you where you play it. And so you'll just write a little circle. So I think the first one is that second space. That would be A. So you have your second fret A on the G string. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, there's another one to where it's the third space from the top, which that would be first fret C. Um, and like I said, there's going to be a document that goes along and has all this information. It's a little hard to decipher. Um, we'll talk about it more in class, but hopefully that document helps it make a little bit more sense. Now, on the next couple of pages, it's the opposite. They give you a note on where to play it. And the ones for open are kind of weird. They On your diagram, they put them like back behind the nut. That just means that it's the open string. Um, so they'll tell you, okay third fret on the B string, what note is that? You need to be able to write, oh, that's D, and it's the, the fourth line in the staff. Um, now with these ones, I'm not going to be hypercritical, and if you get things wrong, we're learning new information at a distance, so there's going to be some errors. But please, if you have any questions, contact me, and I know that this is not easy, so be patient with yourself. I promise I'm not going to be evil when it comes to grading all this. So have a great rest of your day.